Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. Please stay tuned so I can show you how to create a progress tracker with checkboxes in Excel. Okay, let's start here. For this exercise, I'm going to use the example of a weekend to-do list. And for this to-do list, we have a list of activities to complete. Before we start with the list, we need to make sure the developer tab is active. What you do is you go to the ribbon, right click and click on customize the ribbon. In the main tabs window, we check this developer tab off and okay. Now the developer tab is available and I can go here and see it. And now I can insert a checkbox. I'm going to insert a checkbox over here. And this checkbox is going to represent the first activity. For example, this weekend, I need to do a car oil change. You can check and uncheck. Now let's add some control to this checkbox. I'm going to right click on the checkbox I'm going to format the control. And if you go to the control tab, there's a cell link box. Click on it and let's assign a cell. So for the car oil change box, I'm going to assign C2 and I'm going to OK it. Let's see what happens when I check off this box and when I uncheck it. If I check it, I get a value of true in cell C2. If I uncheck it, that value becomes false. And I can just toggle here to show true and false. Now that I have my first activity, what I'm going to do is copy it down and create a few more activities. I'm going to call the second activity Fix Door. Third activity is Cut Grass. Next activity is to clean the fish tank. Okay, I have my list of activities for the weekend. The next thing I'm going to do is assign a cell to each of the checkboxes. Right click, format control. I want this checkbox to be linked to cell C3. This one is going to go to C4 and so on. Perfect, I have assigned a cell to each of the checkboxes. So if I toggle here with check and uncheck, you can see the true or false values for each of them. Just testing and everything is working just fine. What I'm going to do now is to create a small table because I want to count how many trues I have, how many faults I have, the total of activities, and the progress. If a checkbox is checked, we get a true value. If the checkbox is unchecked, we get a false value. That being said, I want to count how many boxes are checked, and I want to count how many boxes are unchecked. For that, I'm going to use the formula COUNTIF, and I'm going to count how many times in this range I am finding this value. Enter. I can see that I have zero cells with a true value. If I check one of these off, I get a one, a two, a three. Perfect. I'm going to do the same for false. I'm going to count if how many times in this range I find the word false. Close parenthesis and enter. I can see right now I have four. If I check one more, I get four true and three false. One more. 5 true and 2 false. Okay, this is working. I'm going to add the total. So for that, I'm just going to say true plus false equals total. I have a total of 7 activities. And in order to calculate my progress, I'm going to divide with equals the number of trues over the total of activities. Enter. 71% of the activities are checked off. If I uncheck them, my progress reduces. And the last thing I'm going to do here is create a chart to track the progress. So I'm going to select the progress. I'm going to insert one of these horizontal bar charts. And we're going to put it over here. I'm going to select one of these predefined designs. I want my values to go from zero to 100%. So 0 and 1. 
I want to reduce the gap width. I want to add the data label. I want to put this data label on the inside end. And I'm going to call my chart, my progress tracker. So now, as I check off the boxes, the progress tracker is showing the progress in this bar. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you find this concept helpful. And I hope this is something you can use in your daily routine so you get more with less effort. If you have an Excel challenge that you need help with, whether it is at work, at home, or at school, please write it in the comments below. I try to resolve common challenges from our viewers and subscribers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video.